Hello biology students and welcome to this tutorial on how to construct a scatter plot in Excel. We're going to be using this data set today on Pieris repe. It's a species of butterfly. It's also known as the cabbage white. It looks a lot like this. In fact, the females look like this. The males look almost the same, but they have a different number of spots. You'll learn about that during the chi-square tutorial. Uh, the cabbage white was introduced from Europe decades ago and now it's one of the most common butterflies in Ottawa in the summer. A lot of the species of insect and plant that we have in Ottawa that are common are introduced from elsewhere. So a scatter plot is the type of graph you want to make when you're relating two continuous variables. In our case, we're going to be correlating. We're going to be doing a scatter plot of these two variables: wingspan, which is the distance between two four-wing tips of a spread-out butterfly, and proboscis length. Pro a proboscis is basically a butterfly's tongue. It's kept coiled up under the butterfly's belly when it's not in use, and they're surprisingly long when you uncoil them. So the first thing we want to do when we're doing a scatter plot of these two variables is we want to have the two columns right next to each other geographically in the Excel file. So we ex select proboscis length and we're going to cut it so you can right click to cut or you can hit control X as a shortcut and then we right click on the column to the right of, w of where we want to insert our cut column and we have uh, insert cut cells. Good. Now our two variables are right next to each other and we're ready to do a scatter plot. Click your cursor onto a blank cell so that when you uh, tell it to insert a scatter plot, it's not plotting data of wherever your cursor happens to be. You go to Insert tab, Scatter option, this scatter plot, scatter with only markers. These other options look ridiculous. Never use them, please. We just want a simple scatter plot. Even though there's no line appearing in this scatter plot, you can actually insert a line with this scatter plot very easily. So this is the only one we want. Good. The scatter plot appears blank right now. That's because there's no data. These three tabs automatically open up when you insert a graph for chart tools, and one of the options in the design tab is select data. That's what we want to do. And it asks chart data range. What are the data you want to graph? We click on this little mini icon that looks like a spreadsheet, so we can click and drag to tell Excel what data we want to graph. We select our two columns of continuous variables, including the header row. We click this thing to say OK. We hit OK. There we go. We have a scatter plot. It's graphed proboscis length on the y-axis and wingspan on the x-axis. In this case, there's no causal relationship between the two variables. Having big wings does not cause a butterfly to have a bigger tongue. They're both just correlated with general body size. So it doesn't really matter too much which variable you have on the x or the y-axis. If there is a causal relationship between your two variables, if one is an independent variable and the other is a, de a dependent variable, put the independent variable on the x-axis and the dependent variable, the one being affected, on the y-axis. There's uh, a lot of things wrong with graphs that are automatically made in Microsoft Excel. It adds a lot of junk to it, adding an unnecessary legend, title, grid lines, and so on. There's a lot of cleaning up to do with a graph. If you were to hand in the default graphs that Excel makes, you would fail. So there's a separate tutorial on how to clean up graphs in Excel. I'll let you take a look at that to take all the further steps of how to tidy up this graph. But you've got the basic idea now. You know how to make a scatter plot between two continuous variables in Microsoft Excel.